Okay, let's talk Club World Cup, how to improve that one. Uh, I'm doing something that um, I don't do anymore, wearing a Real Madrid jersey. Um, I don't support Real Madrid as much anymore, but I have to say this jersey is probably one of the nicest that I have. I uh, absolutely love it, uh, the way it looks, I have good memories attached to that, and there was a time that I actually liked the Real Madrid. But it still feels weird to me that I have two Barcelona and two Real Madrid shirts, uh, although I like Barcelona that much better. But back then I liked Zidane that much better. And if you, I'll link to this video in the description, you will see there's a nice story attached to that, why I have this jersey. And yeah, it's the one they wore in the, uh, from 98 to 2000. And I'm wearing it now because Real Madrid won the Club World Cup three times in a row, like a Champions League, fourth times in five years, and you really wonder why. It was only t uh, a tight game once, when uh, the first time around, when they played against Kashima Antlers and had to go to overtime, but except for 2012, when uh, Corinthians won it against the Chelsea team that was out of sorts, I don't remember any time that this was a tight contest. Uh, it's even worse that due to the South American talent terrain towards Europe, the um, Copa Libertadores winner isn't most of the time not even competitive and can get ousted by an Asian team or an African team. It's just not the competition that anyone wants to see. Who wants to see uh, the Champions League winner toying with it? So I'm having putting out a few thoughts, how can we make the Club World Cup better? Number one, don't have a Club World Cup. I know it's not going to happen, but I think this would be the best. Number two, and those are not the easy, the easy, easy, easy and non-reasonable ones. If I don't send anyone there, make a Club World Cup for the rest of the world. And you know it uh, quite well that the Champions League winner is the world champion as well. Uh, we don't need to make any qualms about that. I know that's unreasonable and slightly unfair, but um, I honestly would have liked that the River puts a great team forward and challenges Real Madrid. It's something that I would have loved to see. Two great teams with storied uh, teams playing each other, uh, but River doesn't even make it to the final. Uh, it's, I'm not saying a river is a disgrace, but it's disgraceful um, on many levels. And I think you can blame you, uh, your European soccer for ruining this competition. Um, that they haven't been taken all that seriously, now they take it seriously because you get a nice badge with it. There you go. Do I have actually a here? I have one. Barcelona. <laughs> they won in 2015. And that was the 2016-17 shirt where they still could wear it for half a season. Which is the other thing, it's kind of out of sync. So I would like to, let's talk about the real reform. Um, and my main focus is make it more competitive, but don't make a Champions League that's worldwide, because that's going to be uh, not interesting. Uh, so I don't want to go that route. I don't want to go to the old where they had like uh, two groups of four. It, it needs to be a shortish tournament, but I think we need to get more competitive teams in there. Um, I could envision, let's say date, make it maybe, but you know, this is the problem with the Libertadores. The Libertadores is playing over the year, but um, if that could be shifted, which probably it won't be. and. Uh, Maybe it's stupid of me to think about it. Make it in the preseason. No, make it like the first tournament of the new season. Like instead of this, all these Super Cups, uh, UEFA Super Cups, make the Club World Cup. And that got me thinking to the a real idea. Uh, I don't want to add a lot of more teams, um, but I think we want to get at least one more slightly competitive team in there. And for me, the obvious choice would be the Europa League winner. Meaning, also allow the winners of all secondary club competitions to enter the Club World Cup. Now I also realize uh, that might increase the number of games and that European teams will not like that. And um, you know, the Libertadores winner also doesn't usually get to buy. Um, I want to go so far that let's say we keep the competition 
I would give the two European teams a free pass to the semi-final and then make the draw also put the Copa Sudamericana winner and whoever is in there and they play then for the two spots and to play the Euro the European teams. Um, if you want to keep the free um, pass for the Libertadores winner I would actually make three fixed slots. Have the Europa League winner play the Libertadores winner, the Champions League winner play the winner of the rest of the world tournament and that's that. I would even say the Re Copa a uh, Red Copa matchup should uh, determine who plays the Europa League winner and then the rest of the world plays against each other, something like that. I think this could be a more interesting co competition because you don't want to see a final where the winner is toying around. So for that reason, I think you got to get the Europa League winner. And this year it would have been Atletico Madrid, I mean. We would have seen an Atletico against the Real Madrid final and that would have been fun, I think. I think last year, when it was Manchester United, I mean, yes, Manchester United is not a great team, but Real Madrid, Manchester United, that's a big name matchup. Why not? Real Madrid, Sevilla. Also, more interesting than Real Madrid, Alain, honestly. Uh, and then you would have, you know, there would be some competition going for it. Uh, taking it one step further, um, let's say you give only you allow only the Champions League winners, but you want to have a little bit more competitive spirit at the moment. We have seven teams, the host nation and the six continentals. Um, I think if the top four, five, whatever to fill up of the FIFA World ranking national teams, give the champion from that country also an entry. Just throwing it out there. Don't make a club coefficient or whatever, but give that one also an entry. Although I see there will be Belgium in there, and who wants to see Brugge? Uh, yeah, there needs to be some, some thought. Maybe you can say, okay, these are the best leagues, uh, get the champions in there. Would be more interesting. But always knockout competition, and European teams should not play too many. Uh, games to have a valid competition. That's how I feel. I like the one with the Europa League winner and the Copa Sudamericana winner uh, in there a lot. Um, as I said, I would give the two European teams a free pass to the semi final. I'm sorry, Copa Libertadores and South American fans, but honestly, until the situation improves, I think you're maybe a notch above Asia. A notch above, Afri above Africa or CONCACAF, but not by that much. I think the gap between UEFA and the rest of the, and Commonwealth is much larger than between Commonwealth and the rest of the world. That's what the Club World Cup has shown. So these would be my suggestions to make maybe for a more interesting tournament. As I said, my primary suggestion is don't have one. We don't need this competition. Uh, it's a nonsensical com 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 competition played in places. It's great to have Real Madrid go to the Emirates or whatever, or Japan or Northern Africa, but honestly, it's a joke competition. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I have also some videos on how to improve the World Cup or the Champions League or the Europa League, the Nations League. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking about those things. Not all of the Things are good, but you know. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel right about here. If you want to see more videos like this, and check out the videos that I am posting here uh, on how to improve uh, the Champions League and the Nations League. Let me know what video you like. I will talk to you soon. Bye.